and welcome to our concept board tutorial series. Today we are looking at how to add sticky notes. You find the sticky note tool up here in your toolbar or by just pressing N on your keyboard. It will give you the latest used colors up here, but you can choose from a lot of different colors from the color dialog. From the three dot menu, you can pick the universal font style and size for every sticky note that you're creating in this board. And then you can just click on the board and start writing down your ideas. If you click on the board, it will always give you the same size of sticky note. But you can also drag open the size that you'd like and then start writing. You can also scribble on a sticky note by switching to the scribble tool once you inserted the sticky note and then just insert your little drawing. Um, it will directly be connected to the sticky note. So if you need to move it to another location later on, you can do so and it will um, move the scribble on top. If you need to change the color, just click on the sticky note and pick a different color. You can also always still change the font style or size, change the size of the whole sticky or move it somewhere else in the board. If you want to keep the proportions of the sticky note, just hold shift on your keyboard and then drag it to the size you'd like. After a creative brainstorming session in your board, your board might look something like this. So everyone just puts their ideas somewhere. If you now want to make it look a bit nicer, you can start arranging them. So you will have those red lines to help you locate them. But for all of them, this will take a long time. So what I can do, I select all of them at once. The easiest is to just drag around a square. So now I have them all, um, all selected. I click on the three dot menu go to object alignment and here I have a lot of different alignment options. So in this case, I want to use the grid layout. I choose the amount of columns I'd like, press arrange objects and it gives me this nice grid layout. It could now also be that everyone used a different color and font style. So now I want to have them all look the same. There's a really simple way for that. So I click on the one that I like the most, click on the format brush up here, and then click on the one that I want to copy the format to. So that now I don't have to press the format brush every time and go back and forth. I just click on it with a double click, gives me this little infinity sign down here. And now I can click on all of them and quickly have copied the format. So this is all from my side. It's your turn now to create your sticky notes and leave your ideas. Happy collaborating.